So the RK for Thales is water. And we could see how water could work here as the RK. Perhaps Thales is looking out at the world and noticing all these common elements and these overlapping themes where water is an element in all things. Therefore, water must be the underlying substance of all things. And in so doing, he's using empirical knowledge, which is based on sense observation and rational knowledge through logical inference to arrive at the RK of all things. And so for Thales, water is the RK, and the RK has roughly this definition, the origin, source, or the fundamental substance, sometimes even known as the fundamental principle of reality. So this is an abstract way that Thales is making claims about the world. He's saying that ultimate reality, so what he's talking about is metaphysical claim about all of reality here. And that's a little bit abstract. It's a theoretical concept. He's not seeing little elements of particles of water everything. He doesn't have microscopic vision. But he's theorizing. He's coming up with an explanatory framework that explains what everything is at a fundamental level, at a fundamental substantial level. So that's kind of abstract. So let's look at a different example of something more concrete that Thales is said to have figured out using natural philosophy as his model of knowledge. So Thales is said to have predicted a solar eclipse in 585 BCE. But he's also known to have discovered some other pretty, pretty tricky things too, like the height of a pyramid. Now, the height of a pyramid is different than the length of the side of the pyramid. So let's look at this model of natural philosophy and empirical knowledge and rational knowledge to see how he figured this out. It's thought that Thales used the idea of the shadow of an object to figure this out. And so what he did, is most likely, is he was able to take a stick and he's able to wait for the time of day when the length of the stick, let's say one foot, and the shadow of that stick are the same. What he can do from that and do from that observation is to say, well, at the same time that the length of the shadow of the stick is equivalent to the length of the stick itself. Therefore, by logical inference, we can say that the length of the shadow then would be the same as the length of the height. So by logical inference, if the length of the shadow is x, let's say x equals 100 feet, then the height should also be 100 feet. So here he's using observation, he's using his senses to observe certain things, and he's noticing that logically, if the length of the shadow is the same as the height of the stick, then the length of the shadow of the pyramid is the same as the height of the pyramid. So here, this is Thales' method of natural philosophy as his model of knowledge. Again, the source and authority of knowledge is coming from Thales himself and his ability to observe the world and make logical inferences based on those observations. And this is thought to be what was behind the origins of Western philosophy.